without patience. If you have no patience, you are not complete. And therefore, let patience have a complete work in you that you may be entire, complete, and lacking in nothing. The place of satisfaction. When you only have a need so God can meet it. Not to have a need that troubles you. And you start fight, you know, fasting and binding and losing and getting confused in the process you don't know what to do and getting messed up in your thinking and everybody can tell there's a problem there. Someone say patience. Someone say patience. Look at them and say neighbor, neighbor and patience. If you don't have patience, you never receive anything from God. Because God does things his own way. The Bible says nobody cancels God. He doesn't receive any counsel from anybody. He does things when he wants to do them. And that's the problem with God. He, he chooses when to do them. And doesn't even tell us. And so, I, I, I was saying this to, you know, to, to my church, you know, when I was teaching on this, I said, God said to you, he would heal you. And so you come on the prayer line, and you're prayed for, nothing happens. So you stand there, you come again, nothing happens. And then you begin to hear, there is another woman somewhere there. She uses water. So, you know, you can go there. You know, you, we are all just trusting God, you know. So you run there. You go there. You drink the water. And nothing happens. And then you wait. Then you hear. There is another prophet. The other side. Very powerful. And so you run there. You get there because here. They, they were anointing you with oil. Now they are saying, no, no, we don't anoint you. You drink the oil. So you drink the oil. Lack of patience. Lack of patience. If you know your God, you will say he is not man that he can lie. What he has said, he will do it. I will wait until my miracle comes. I wait. I wait. I wait. This is shut up Michigan, my back now. When they were asked, are you going to bow? They said, no. Our God, whom we serve, is what? Going, is able to what? To deliver us. But they didn't stop there. He said, even if he is not, even if he doesn't. Because we know God. Sometimes he will not deliver us now. He will want us to die because we know he has the power to raise us from the dead. So we will not die. We know God. We know him. I'm telling you, I know God. If he doesn't come here, he will come there. If he doesn't save me here, he wants me to die so he can resurrect me. So I know. So I will not even bow. You must know God. You must know God. Know his voice. Know his character. That this man can never lie. Know his voice. So, so the problem we have today is people don't even know the voice of God. I was counseling a certain lady. You know, I was preaching and God gave me a, a prophetic word for her. So I picked it up in the congregation. I gave her a word. And so I finished giving her the word. The power of God touched her. She was just in the public with joy. She was down there. 
Uh, after a while, people picked her up. And you know, I kept watching her, kept watching her. And something was funny. Funny. Something was funny. Something was not changing in her life. And the world is just broken. I said, what's happening? So after a while, she wanted to see me. So she came, I had her story, and then I said, okay, I'll be praying with you. She went back. Things were changing. Months after months, months after months. And later on she came. Then she said, you know, Apostle, you know, uh, you know, I really don't understand. You know, things are not working in my life. I said, I'm also concerned. <laughs> More concerned than you are. The word of God has been spoken over your life. And I know God. I know the voice of God. I know when God speaks. I know Him. God spoke to you and you, something is not right. Tell me what's happening. Oh, you know, when we were with a friend, we were praying, and this friend of mine told me that, no, I must pray for my husband. I said, which husband? By the way, she was. This, this husband left her, went and married another lady. They went to church and married. And so, she said, I must be praying for that one. I said, which one? And you're busy praying for that one? He says, well, well that's, what, that's what God said, you know, to this person. I said, well, I don't know about that. I can't go back, you know, that far. But I want to tell you this. Forget that man. Forget him. Even if it's yours, but for now it's not yours. 